Hey there. Did you know Baker's always gives you savings and rewards on top of our lower than low prices? And when you download the Baker's app, you'll enjoy over $500 in savings every week with digital coupons. And don't forget fuel points to help you save up to $1 per gallon at the pump. Want to save even more? With a Boost membership, you'll get double fuel points and free delivery. So shop and save big at Baker's today. Baker's, fresh for everyone. Savings may vary by state. Restrictions apply. See site for details. Warrior! You landed on the Coach JV Podcast. This is a raw, authentic podcast, helping you understand the power you have inside of you to accomplish great things. I'm just going to warn you, if you're sensitive, this is not the podcast for you. But if you're ready to rise, let's go. Warriors, rise! Good morning, everybody, and welcome to the Coach JV Podcast. We talk about motivation, health, and life. I'm your host, Coach JB, your top health and mindset coach in the world. Man, would you believe in your heart? You think in your mind will eventually become your words and become your reality. If you can see it in your mind, eventually you can hold it right here in your hands. What you repeatedly do gets ingrained in your sub. Whoa, excuse me. That was for Melissa's daughter there. I remember when I burped? Did she, she, <laughs> do you guys remember that? Did you guys ever see that when Melissa's daughter was so cool? I burped and she actually did a rendition of my podcast when I used to burp a lot. And it was funny because that's when I had... Um, uh, leaky gut. I actually healed my leaky gut with uh, glutamine, apple cider vinegar, and my amazing sleep and gut routine. I started to get more sleep and I healed my leaky gut. Anyways, uh, did I finish it? What you believe in your heart, you think in your mind will eventually become your words and become your reality. If you can see it in your mind, eventually you can hold it right here in your hands. What you repeatedly do gets ingrained in your subconscious mind. What gets ingrained in your subconscious mind becomes an unconscious activity. All right. <clears throat> so yesterday I talked about focus on you guys. Focus on you. Be selfish, and what will happen is you're going to be able to pour into other people. You're not taught that stuff. You're taught to pour into others and worry about others, and what is this person doing? And every time you get around your family, they're gossiping about your cousin and this person, and it's like just constant talk about other people, and all it is is a big-ass projection field projecting away from themselves to mask the insecurities, the things that we're not doing, the things that we're not taking care of our family, all the shit. You think about it. Every person talking shit about somebody else, to include myself, we're all fucked up ourselves, guys. We're all messed up ourselves. We're projecting onto other people. And so what I want to talk about today is, are you an asset or a liability? Are you an asset or a liability to your family, your business, your ecosystem? And how do you know if you're an asset or a liability? Someone who is a liability within business constantly brings problems to the table, never solutions. Someone who is an asset knows that there's a problem, presents a problem, but comes up with solutions, ideas. Even if they don't have the answer for it, they're looking for resources and trying to be a problem solver. A liability in a business is someone who is constantly complaining about other people behind their back. Someone who is an asset, when they hear somebody talking about somebody behind their back, they stand up, chest proud, chin up and say, hey, if we talk about this person twice, we need to go talk to the person because they know that if you're talking behind someone's back more than twice, you're looking for attention, not a solution. A liability in business is someone who is constantly needing to be told what to do. They, they literally sit there waiting for the next direction. When they know they need, they need to do stuff, they know that there's stuff that needs to be done. An asset is someone who gets the job done and is constantly looking for the next thing that they can do to help improve and move forward the company. So I want you to think about within your company and your ecosystem, even if you don't like your job, guys, always be an asset. Always be an asset. You want to help people. You want to be there for people. You want to be the voice of change. You don't want to be the voice, you know, the person bringing down the frequency all the time. Like when you're, 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 you're building with teams and stuff like that, you don't want to be the person that's causing all the low frequency, bringing down the energy. You want to be the person lifting up the energy and inspiring and motivating people because everything is a frequency. Okay, let's talk about relationships. Relationships with your family. If you're, you know, if you're a man, I'll speak to men's heart specifically. You know, man, a liability man <clears throat> is someone who slop you with his health, his finances, and his priorities. Slop you with his health his finances, and his priorities. A liability is somebody who has a big jacked up, lift up truck, 
a boat. Now hear me out here. Hear me out. You know, if you can afford that stuff, great. You have a jacked up truck, a boat, you have the, all the toys, all this stuff. You go hunting with your buddies. You play poker with your buddies, but your family's fucking struggling. Your wife is, you know, is, is trying to take care of the household and, you know, constantly complaining that she doesn't get attention. And, you know, your kids don't see you. Your kids are, you know, looking out for attention and all these things. You're a liability. Now, if you have all those things and you're a man who is balancing the spending time with your family, helping out in the household, making sure there's a mutual value exchange, you're making sure that your relationship is a priority just as much as your buddies, you're an asset to your family. Your finances are focused on building legacy, foundations, a future that everybody can be safe and protected. Your internet browser is focused on things that are moving your family forward. Your social media feed is focused on things that are ethical, moral, and in alignment with your family values. Your debit card transactions, you can see where your money's flowing to, where your money's flowing, where your money's going. So are you an asset or a liability for your family? So I want you to think about that and self-reflect and ask to yourself, someone who's a liability to themselves is someone who doesn't take care of themselves. Is someone who's constantly blaming the world and an outside enemy for all the problems that they have within their life. An asset is someone who self-reflects and looks internally and says, I can, I will, I must, I will never give up because they know how, how much and how important that their decisions are because they want to be an asset for their company. They want to be asset for their family and they want to be asset for God in the <clears throat> embodiment that we get here on earth. So I want you to think about something for just a moment. Are you an asset or a liability? And if you're a liability, I would recommend switching that because being an asset is one of the greatest things that we should be doing here on earth. We got, we got a gift from God to come down here as a conscious being to have a human experience, to come through this amazing cellular body, the nervous system, and come out here and have five senses and get, a car, get, you know, get an actual conscious mind, which is a carnal mind. Right to be able to act, to walk, to talk, to think. We didn't come here to be liabilities. We didn't come here to repeat consciousness. We came here to expand consciousness. So as you think about your life right now, are you an asset or are you a liability? And I'm looking to run with assets. I'm looking for people who, who bring p- solutions to the problem. It's okay to bring problems. Not, that's not a problem at all. But they're part of the solution. They're not bringing problems just to project their lack of discipline or consistency or wanting to do the work or the lack of success, they're bringing problems to the table that can help move the whole ecosystem forward. I want to run with men who are committed to their family, who are committed to raising their kids and making sure their their wives, their spouse, partner, and loved one has the safety and security that they need, that they need to be divine feminine. That's the type of men I want to run with. I want to run with assets. I want to run with men who are focused on investing in themselves, their family, and their ecosystem to make sure that they feel secure. I want men who are self-developing. I want men who are pushing themselves to the, to, the, to the greatest degree and really taking what we've been given, this amazing gift to be a male here on earth, to create, to manifest, and using it for greater good. That's the type of men I want to be around assets. I don't want to be around sloppy-ass liabilities who are more worried about their football team who are more worried about their football team and get super pissed off and throw something at the TV and scream at the TV, that's a liability. You're a liability to your family. You're a liability. I don't want to be around men who are a liability financially, spiritually, who are going to put me in positions. They're going to lower my frequency or put me in a position of vulnerability. I want to be around men who rise up to protect their family, their ecosystems, and everybody around them. So the question I have for you is, are you a liability or are you an asset? And the beautiful thing about it, one choice, one choice, one minute, one time, one day away from transforming your life from liability to an asset. So I want us all to do some self-reflection. Are you an asset to your business or are you a liability? Are you an asset to your family or are you a liability to your family? Are you an asset to your kids or are you a liability to your kids? And I would recommend getting on that asset side and getting to work in the greatest shift in human history. So I love you guys. I appreciate you. As we always say, warriors, rise, get your shit together.